Welcome everybody. We're here flying over the beautiful Yarra Valley and I want to congratulate our very own Georgia Croft, our first female commercial hot air balloon pilot, not only for our wonderful company, Global Ballooning Australia, but also for the wonderful state of Victoria. Yeah. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Pretty it's been a lot of hard work and a lot of commitment for yeah, two years now, so long time coming. And yeah, Georgia, what planted the seed that this is the pathway that you wanted to take for your career and your future? Oh, it's just the sense of adventure. <laughs> Complain. Mm. We're certainly not complaining. <laughs> now, there's other commercial ballooning operators around Australia. What made you choose Global Ballooning to to kind of carry out your training Global in commercial ballooning, ballooning? Is actually one of the only flying schools uh, in Australia. <laughs> Aside from knowing Kiff and his sons from being very young, like they definitely inspired me into this whole thing. Their passion and commitment to it all is is amazing every single day. But uh. Yeah, Global Boy is one of the only places that you can actually train and you've got Keith here who's one of the you know, most well-known hot air balloon pilots around and also just their impact in the tourism industry. And we do have Kiff here. Hi. Hi Kiff. <laughs> so Kiff, you've been a great mentor in the ballooning industry for many commercial ballooning pilots. Yes. How is it? I mean, just even watching you, just your sense of awareness. <laughs> You've got eyes everywhere. Yeah. How is like how is this for you to be bringing in youth and a youth or young first female pilot? How does it feel to be, be imparting your knowledge? I'm really seeing the journey from someone who's like, I want to do this yeah. to now like she's got it and she's here. Well, I, mean, I, yeah, I think that it's very experienced balloonist who's been doing it for a long time that you know that you give back to the industry and I mean I've certainly taken great pleasure over the years of training many pilots and I think that uh, yeah it gives me a great satisfaction to see these guys grow within themselves not just about ballooning I mean ballooning is a very peripheral thing like you said on my eyes are everywhere I mean there's so much about ballooning that is not about ballooning and just to see these guys come out of their kind of world of just you know, single focus and just start to have a much wider view of the world it's fantastic, and certainly kind of having the girls come through, I mean, that's really yes. great, you know, because it has been very male-orientated, and certainly, um, yeah, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not a job that a woman can't do. It's actually, they, 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 they have a very lovely touch to it all, and they actually bring a softness to it as well, which, I, again, for me as an instructor, I find them more attentive. They're less kind of... Uh, yeah, so having female students, they're, they're far more studious in the They really do want to listen and hear the information, and that's very rewarding for someone who has a lot to say about it. All. I mean, yeah, I think that uh, yeah, it's great to see, and as George just said, there's a lot of energy around the balloon to bring youth in, and that yes. certainly is very rewarding for me to actually be around youth myself. Because yeah. you know, the thing I find when I, I am instructing is just that I mean, you know, when you do something, you know, just all the time, I mean, you know, there's no complacency comes in, but when I have to impart knowledge, mm. I'm really bringing myself back to having to remind myself of just all the fundamental principles of what I take for granted. I think that's really good for me because it, yeah, it is, it's great to be imparting knowledge, but in yourself, you're talking to yourself. You know? yeah. I really like that component of instruction. And especially when you have a student who really gets it yes. and is really attentive and you can see them start to actually It'll begin, come yeah, come yeah. together and actually see it, you know, and it starts off being frustrating, but then eventually they get to understand why these things. I think for us, having an instructor like Kiff, you know, we've gone, I started my journey with Kiff, like he was my first instructor when I was a complete student. And it's just been really amazing to see him I'm getting it. Like it's, it's really, it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. 
you're doing amazing. Yeah. And to Kiff, if you could rewind back the clock to your 20 yeah. something self, what would it been? What would you have loved to hear going back? Well, in I mean, your that's journey? the thing in my learning is, is that we didn't really have these mentors. You yeah. know? we were kind of just thrown yeah. out into regions and kind of told to work it out. And so. Yeah, I kind of look at how, I mean, I, yeah. I kind of wonder how we went ballooning. You know? <laughs> really, my journey in ballooning is making a lot of mistakes and kind of realising yeah. that I won't make those again. Yeah. You know? As opposed to now, I can actually try and give these guys yes. some useful information. And ballooning has gone, the professionalism in, in the aviation component of how we go about training. I mean, you know, from where I am, you know, where it's all just kind of done through, um, you know, just, yeah. <laughs> Done through kind of watching other people, and you know, and again, and again, I was in learning when it was in its infancy in Australia, you know, to now we've got manuals, we've got really good processes, you know, the company itself, you know, we've just got so, so much information that has been documented and allowing these people to really start off as professional aviators, and that hasn't been. Um, in the past in learning we kind of all kind of adventurers who just got into wanting to fly but now you know we're really falling in line with professional commercial aviation with really structured kind of processes and making sure that these guys actually kind of do follow that process because we are at aircraft and you know we are very much involved in keeping people safe yeah. and you know there's a huge duty of responsibility there to for all pilots to to not just kind of be more flamboyant and certainly you know when I started ballooning on a ponytail I just thought here, here we go it was all, all about me as opposed to actually yeah. kind of looking at, at the fact that I am taking people's yeah. lives yeah. in my hands and they have a tremendous amount of trust that I am able to do that job yeah you know, and I was always very confident but now but now we take that um, responsibility a lot more I mean, and that's because we're flying more balloons, bigger balloons. I mean, you know, you know we're flying, you know, 12,000 people a year. I mean, and it's great, you know, it's great for me. I mean, certainly that evolution within myself. And as I say, I, I do find, particularly in instructing, that it has forced me to have to document what I'm thinking and to be able to, to, to impart this knowledge. And again, it reinforces what, what I ha I've learned mm. along the way as well, you know, and I think that that's great. And, it, and as I say, it's particularly good. You know, my daughter Scarlett coming through, my kids, you know, all of these people who are young people coming up, actually seeing their skill at a very low hour range compared to how long it took me to get to that. Yes. You know? I mean, the future is very bright. Yeah. Future is bright. Yeah. Future is very bright. Well, if uh, happy, International Women's Day. Uh, congratulations and uh, happy International Women's Day to you, Georgia. Thank you, for, uh, Kiff, for sharing your love of ballooning. Yeah. And 28 years later, here we are sharing uh, all of our love for ballooning uh, to uh, everyone that's visiting from overseas and here in Melbourne. Globalballooning.com.au is where you can find your little piece of magic. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Happy Women's Day. <laughs> <laughs>